All right, so this is about this video is assembling to how much of a fear dream fucking making fiends is. I remember this uh, because I've been sick for a while and I was like, my brain was like, oh yeah, making fiends. That, that was a fucking show. So making fiends, it's a web series, web thing. I'm not gonna talk about any of that shit. If there is, I think there's a video on that somewhere on YouTube. But my thing is about the characters, how much of a, how weird they are. First one you see here, Vendetta, the green little munchkin chick. She is basically an evil dictator that took over a town with fiends, these little monster creatures of evil and stupidity. And then next to her, like, is a fiend, is the hamster. That, that's all she calls it. Also, some reason, uh, it's funny as shit, Vendetta is, like, I guess, like, 9, 10-ish, kind of weird in that area. Uh, the fiend, the hamster, who is her, basically, bodyguard and protector. She has parents, but she shrunk them down to, like, little munchkins once again. Because she wants to be evil. She is a giant dictator around the world. She, or in her town at least, I think. I, I don't know her. She makes fiends, like these terrifying little fucking creatures that you can see one here as you're like a little red fucker that uh, basically just, that one just basically tortures the, or scares the shit out of the uh, lunch lady. Because why not? But like, Vendetta, the hamster, big bads and all this evil shit. They're just terrifying. Next, we're going to show a little fun clip about the creatures what the little creatures do and it's funny because like she creates these fiends to do this like uh to scare one of the other characters uh uh she calls a stupid girl the blue the blue one she uh basically makes uh vegetable versions of uh fiends because she, she wants the blue girl wants her to eat vegetables but because she only eats clams and jerky with grape juice so she's gonna do that and the clip is will speak for itself right now which is the funniest fucking shit in the world All right, after you saw that weird-ass clip of those vegetables that uh, Vendetta made, then you saw them. Okay, that blue chick was uh, Charlotte. Sher Cheryl, I, I have no idea to pronounce his name, that name. Um, so, who is Charlotte? Charlotte is basically the complete opposite of Vendetta. Instead of being a vindictive, uh, evil dictator, she is basically just a cheery, happy, and go-friendly girl who loves everything. Everything that has to be happy and fun. I think, oh, where's the weird acid with that? There's the weird trippiness of the show with that. Well, because she is like, she is just like, like the blonde stereotype where like, dumb but fun, dumb, but like somehow smart too. Like, she doesn't, so, Vendetta tries to make fiends, like the show Making Fiends. She try. she makes the fiends to basically kill her. To exterminate, eliminate, defeat. I think she even says just kill her. The show. Um, she just makes them. Charlotte just basically tames them all. Because she gives them love and happiness. And the fiends are like, yeah! Who gives a fuck about our creator? I think some episodes of the damn cre the fiends even just beat the show of uh, Vendetta. Uh, but yes. the uh, Also here, you can see it is the grandma. Uh... Uh, it's just called Grandma, like Clarence or Cl Clinton. I, uh, but she's Grandma, just a blue one. I think, oh, okay. So you think, oh, that's the mother? No, that's the Grandma. Because it does, we do find out what happened to the parents, because the parents are never shown in the show, and it's going to be another clip here in a while, in a bit, and it is the funniest fucking shit in the world because of, of how unhinged it looks. Oh, you just see it right now. I wish my parents could be here. Why? Where are your parents? They're in a better place. Up there. Were they eaten by bears? Hee <laughs> hee. No, silly. They're living on a space station. Right. A space station. They're astronauts. Okay, <laughs> and for kind of this last part, I just want to put it in here. Uh, what's surprising is that the entire, the actual old website for Making Fiends is still up and active. Well, not really active, active, because, uh, 
the creator of Megan Fiends, they got like they don't own the rights to it because Nickelodeon does because yeah because big corporate dick big dick money um yeah but their website still is still up and it is the funniest shit because like you can tell it looks retro and shit like not retro but it looks it just looks like the show it looks like someone in the show made that it. it's funny but um yeah most of the web links don't work uh like the old webtoon shows like the original things it's like just shows a 401 404 thing so just nothing uh nothing really works on it you can tell there's supposed to be interactive things when you click on like different characters and everything but it just leads to once again a 404 page nothing found just a lot of real weird shit the merch side actually still works because I, they still make merch of their other stuff which I, did, I didn't know that that was actually surprising me they, they do a lot of weird shit on here it's actually it's just funny i think that the page still exists and everything I, that's just me. I got really nothing else to say there.